All right, guys, we have the 14th hired request of the 2017 list up today called Hurricanes and Hand Grenades. It sounds like this. everyone, I'm Sean Cheek, and welcome to my Easy Piano Lessons. Got a new setup here, as you can see. I'm wearing this nerdy mic here, <laughs> but hopefully it's going to help the audio and cut out all of the ambient noise. And I'm running the piano straight from the earphone jack to the camera, so maybe the, the piano will sound a lot better. Everything will sound a lot better. So we'll, we'll see, and I got a little better camera, so <clears throat> resolution should be better. I'm sure there'll be some tweaking, but we'll see how it works out. All right, all the lessons for this are on my website, <clears throat> webpianoteacher.com. Uh, we'll do the part one here, and then you can check out the rest of the lessons on my website. Real kind of a neat bluesy, lilty, 12, 8 time, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, that sort of thing. Check me out on Facebook. Just do a Facebook search for webpianoteacher.com. All right, here we go. Start with the right hand with a little ba-ba-ra. And I'll give you a lot in this part one, more, more than I usually do because we're you know, doing the new technology. I just want to try it out, see what you guys think. So E in the right hand, right above middle C. Then we'll do a blues thing, F to F sharp with finger two, three. And then A with the fifth finger back down to F sharp. Okay? You want to follow on along on YouTube to... Uh, do this arrangement with me, you just look up cover, Jason, Isbell, Hurricanes and Hand Grenades, and you can <coughs> listen to the version version we're doing. A, F sharp, so ba, bra, ba, bum. Then we'll do an A chord, C sharp, E, A in the right, and then C sharp that you're already playing, then back to the E, A, and then A, C sharp, F sharp with one, two, four. And then you're already playing this, A, C sharp, F sharp. As far as the rhythm goes, the left and right hand really go together to form that one rhythm. So you really can't do rhythm stuff until you put them together. <coughs> so on the left hand, you have an A on the fifth finger and then an A on the thumb. So one, two, and I have that curved line on that because the left and right hand kind of go together there on count two. Count three, we'll do an F sharp. And then count four, we'll play F sharp on the thumb. Finish out that last triplet. So from the beginning, one, two, three, four. So I went ahead and played that next measure. It's a D chord now. <clears throat> it went from A chord to F sharp minor. Now we're on a D chord, F sharp, A, D. Left hand hits a D octave to start with. Then we'll hit that D on the thumb. The right hand will come in with the F sharp and the A D that you're already playing on count two. Count three will be G sharp B E, left hand on an E octave. And then sort of what we did at the beginning, E and then uh, E to F sharp. Except it's not F to F sharp, it doesn't have that blues thing, it's more of a country. So E to F sharp and then A, F sharp, ba -ba -da -ba. So this measure is one. Next measure, we have go back to an A chord, C sharp, E A in the right. I'm using two, three, five. You can use one, two, five if you want. Left hand, A octave, A again. Then the right hand has a higher E than a lower E. And you go ba ba ba, left, right, right. Then we'll do our D chord, F sharp, A D. I'm using two, three, five on that. Left hand on the D, and then D thumb on the left. F sharp 80 on the right. So that whole measure is one, two, three, four. And 
let's go that far. Let's tie that together, and then we'll learn the last little bit. Here we go. B on the right, A, then E, G sharp, B, D with one, two, three, five. So the left hand goes A, E, E, E flat, and then an E and a D together. Alright, so, and then one more chord. Alright, so again, I'm leaving a lot of the board up here so you, those of you can, who want to can try to figure out some of this. But there's a whole page of this and then another part of another page to complete the whole thing. There's a neat piano solo in the middle. I teach you that as well. So very cool if you like this style of playing, kind of bluesy, gospel sounding uh, music at least. Uh, so let's do the whole uh, intro now. Ready? Go. you guys enjoyed that and again the rest of the lessons for this are on webpianoteacher.com right now talk to you later